Keeping your axe available and ready for use is an essential part of a defensive strategy. G'day guys, my name is Ben and welcome to Medieval Mayhem. On this channel we do lots of reviews into equipment and we also do lots of DIY videos into furniture and costuming and today we're going to do a DIY video into how to make your own leather axe ring. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, alrighty, so the first thing we're going to do is we're just marking out and I've just used a fairly light pencil, you may not be able to see that very well. Um, I'm using 1.8 millimeter leather which is approximately 1 12th of an inch thick. Uh, now I don't know what that is in terms of weight. Uh, in Australia, or at least the shop that I buy my leather from, they measure leather in terms of the thickness. Uh, I realise in other countries they measure it in terms of weight. Alrighty, so be very careful with your fingers obviously. Uh, I've cut my fingers doing this a number of times. Alrighty, so Just going to bevel the edges slightly just to give it a slightly nicer appearance. With everything cut out, and this is just the two pieces, I'm now just going to put a light brown dye onto the leather. Alright, I'm going to let that dry for about 10 minutes or so and then I'm going to put on a sealer. You need to use a sealer because otherwise the dye will simply come off during use and with UV light and that kind of thing. Um, I use a very very basic technique of over and under sewing. I know some people out there use two needles and whatever. Um, I don't find that necessary. Uh, I sew essentially one up on one side and then down on the other and I find that gives me a very solid uh, stitch and holds, holds the leather in place as it needs to be. Once you've finished your row of stitching I tend to just tie a knot Remember this is a waxed thread, there's nothing fancy about it, and then I use a lighter and just melt the end. Place the ring and then pretty much the same on the reverse side. To tie a knot in the string I usually go around my finger two or three times, roll the string and pull it back on itself. That creates quite a nice tight knot. Um, I prefer hand stitching uh, to rivets because rivets I don't believe are necessarily very historically accurate. It all depends on the type of character that you wish to portray and obviously whether or not you're in a you know medieval reenactment group or whether you're in a um, a LARP group, whether you're in a, um, a group that does, uh, you know, SCA, all that kind of thing. Uh, alrighty guys, so there we go, all nice and finished, nice and dry, everything's good to go. I put the wax, uh, the dye sealer on, I don't think you saw that in the video, that's okay. And, um, that works really well. I'll be doing a video on my belt kit uh, this weekend, so in a couple of days time. Please look out for that. And there's also lots of other videos coming up on DIY leatherwork. Alrighty, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe and share and I'll catch you in my next video.